Hey guys, what's up? Poopster back here with you for Lightning Picks. Just a quick rundown for this week's All-Star Race at Bristol. Um, before we get into that, real quick, I want to touch on Kentucky this past weekend, which was a good race for us. Uh, we had a few of the guys in the top 10, a few of our favorites, and um, we did well in our head-to-heads, mainly because of uh, the guys we faded, which would be Bowman and Elliott, who finished 19th and 23rd. So that's where we, we're going to make our money this season. So I really want you guys to pay attention to that, to the guys we fade. Um, we, we had a really strong betting week because of those guys. So um, with that said, we had Truex finishing in second, which um, he should have won the race, but Cole Custer came through with a beautiful pass on the last lap um, to finish first and get his first ever win. Really great race. Um, Kurt Busch finished in fifth. Not a bad race for him. He was kind of in it the whole race. Uh, Keselowski had a real good shot, ended up finishing ninth. Uh, and then our other favorite, Kyle, had, something broke on his car. He finished all the way back in 18th. Wasn't a great race for him. He's still looking for that first win this season. And I think this all-star race is a good place for him to try and get that. He, him and his brother, Kurt, have been really strong in these all-star races. And, they, and it's become a, kind of a running theme for them to to be in it, duking it out for the win. And uh, I, I'm not looking for that theme to change this week. So those two guys are going to be two of the guys that we're looking at to perform well and possibly win this thing. Um, real quick, some of the stats on Kyle. Five out of his last six here at Bristol have been top five, including three wins here. He, he finished fourth here in May. He always runs really strong at Bristol and I'm not looking for that change. I think, I think he very well could win this race. He's going to be my favorite. I don't have any odds yet. I haven't looked at any odds. Um, I don't think that, that any of the books have anything out on them yet, but, um, that's something we'll continue to monitor. And if you check with us in the, in the lightning pick server, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be on top of that as they come out. Um, like I was saying, Kurt Busch also five out of his last six here have been top 10, including a win here and three top fives. So he, he's going to be uh, one of the guys we're looking to to perform well, and he'll be in it at the end here. And then the last guy we'll be looking at is Jimmy Johnson. So Jimmy Johnson, this is his last season. He's got one foot out the door, like I tell you. We've been fading him all season. Um, I think this is uh, a good spot for him to try and get, try and get a win because um, – of the format and because of the fact that there's not going to be many guys racing, there's only, uh, I think something like 20 guys in the race overall. Um, they're going to have a kind of a play in race for three spots. Uh, and the guys that I'll be looking, looking to win those stages in that play in race are going to be Eric Almarola, Tyler Reddick and Clint Boyer. Boyer always performs really strong here. Um, so I'm looking for probably all three of those guys to win the stages and get into the actual all-star race. Uh, and then they're going to have one fan vote to get in, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll be Bubba Wallace. So um, with all that in mind, um, I don't think any of those guys has a real shot to win the race. Uh, besides Boyer, Boyer has a shot, but... Um, like I said, I'll be looking for Kyle, Kurt, and Jimmy Johnson to be probably the top three when it comes down to it, um, with Clint Boyer probably pulling up in fourth or fifth, something like that. Uh, other notables we like this week are going to be Brad Keselowski. Um, he, he, he won here in May uh, and finished third here last year. He, 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 likes, he likes his track, and he runs strong here, and he's had a good season so far. Um so I, I think that he'll perform well this week at the all-star race. Um, also going to be looking at some long shots to win this thing would be Eric Jones. He finished fifth year in May and uh, he's been having a pretty good season. It's up and down, you know, he'll finish top five or he'll finish 20th and wreck out. Um, and then our other guy who's going to be the long shot is, is a, a guy who's been our consistent long shot and Matt Kenseth. And he didn't perform well last week at Kentucky. He had a rough race. But um, two of his last three here at Bristol have been top five finishes. In fact, he's finished fourth twice. 
So I'll be looking for him to um, to try to run well here um, and possibly get a top top five, top ten, something like that. So with all that said, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna I'll find some guys to fade again this week. More than likely, it'll be Bowman. Um, I think I'm gonna fade Bowman until the wheels fall off. Until this, I, I don't think I've missed a fade on Bowman this year. So I'll definitely be fading him. Um, I'll, I'll also be looking at uh, guys like, uh, whew, man, this is tough. You know, Cole Custer is going to be in this race, man. And, and with the, coming off that win, I wouldn't be surprised to see him perform well here. Um, they also have Justin Haley in the race, and I'm not even quite sure how he got in, but uh, I, I don't, I don't like him much at all. He's not even a full-time Cup racer, um, so. With that said, we'll look forward to the race this, this week, and, and uh, I'll have another video out later on this week and um, for, for this weekend's racing. Um, if you guys have any questions, please hit me up in the server or leave some comments, whatever. Uh, if you get anything from any of these videos at all, consider leaving us a like or, or subscribing or any of that stuff. Um, once again, hit me up. And I'll do my best to find some good head-to-heads for this week, especially um, for this all-star race. And uh, with that said, I love you guys. Appreciate all of you and look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, guys.